One Championship has its fair share of Thai bangers, but few are as notorious for both heavy hitting and top tier fights as Rod Tang Jit Wan Not. And whilst we could explore his entire style, the element that most fascinates me are his ridiculously quick elbow strikes. He slices and dices better than most in the promotion. Let's look at his most recent fight against Daniel Williams back in April. Williams was having some success early utilizing his left hook. As such, Rod Tank started firing his left hook and catching Williams as he was throwing. After a knockdown, Rod Tang's offense started relying heavily on elbows. Here, Williams tries to step in with the jab elbow and Rod Tang slips to the outside and allows Williams to fall into him to initiate the clinch. Rod Tang goes over the top with the right elbow. He then gets double collar ties and swings for a left elbow before firing a step in upwards elbow out of the break. Here, Rod Tang steps in again, but not with an upwards elbow. He brings it up perfectly parallel to the ground. In essence, he throws it like a hook, allowing him to hide his chin behind his lead shoulder, minimizing the threat of Williams' rear hand counter. Rod Tang's step in elbows are odd because he'll often land them seemingly effortlessly from the same range where his boxing might cause him to reach. Here, Rod Tang extends long with a hook cross, jab cross, landing nothing. And then a second later, he barely moves and manages to land a step in upwards elbow, timing it as Williams throws the left hook. Here, Rod Tang feints the push kick, lands the straight, raises the left elbow to defend the counter hook, and immediately mashes Williams' face with a right elbow. Here, Rod Tang pulls a Daniel Cormier and reaches for wrist control with both hands. Williams does what's instinctual. He retracts his hands to avoid Rod Tang having wrist control and fires over the top. This is where Rod Tang's opportunity lies. He turns the elbow over, hitting the forehead, while simultaneously blocking the overhand because the elbow is turned up and out, getting in the way of Williams's counter overhand. When you watch an elbow connoisseur like Piotr Jan, you notice that there is a beat between entry into the clinch and his elbow offense. He looks for things like wrist and bicep control before throwing so that he can minimize the damage he takes on the break. Rod Tang doesn't give a fuck. He often throws the second he enters the clinch. Control is appreciated, but not always necessary. Versus Hakim Hamesh, Rod Tang was marching Hamesh down, forcing exchanges. Here, he enters the clinch for just a brief moment, gets a single collar tie with the right hand, and immediately drags Hamesh into a left elbow. He doesn't land, but here, he briefly falls into Hamesh's high guard and swings a wild left elbow. Here, against Pet Dam, Rod Tang throws a hook straight lead uppercut combination before stepping around Pet Dam, stripping his guard and going over the top with the left elbow. In this fight with Pet Dam, Rod Tang was backing his man up, but sometimes losing him as he fell forward with the straight right, allowing Pet Dam space to circle back to the middle of the ring. Here, Rod Tang throws the straight right, but gets control of Pet Dam's head and then mashes a tight right elbow. He gave his opponent space to avoid the straight, but the elbow was available as a backup. Here, Rod Tang is flurrying, and as Pet Dam is given a moment of respite, Rod Tang goes over Pet Dam's arm to nail him with a left elbow. This short breakdown of some of Rod Tang's elbows is not to suggest that Rod Tang's most frequent and identifiable weapon are his elbows. No, his most potent weapon is his ferocity. The gamesmanship, the willingness to wade into the fire with monstrous left hooks to the body and fearsome overhand rights up top. That's what makes Rod Tang such a dangerous moi mutt and so entertaining to watch. It's just that his elbow strikes, despite their relative scarcity, are some of his most daunting, powerful and vindictive shots. When he throws an elbow, he's trying to take your head off.